Hey, welcome to another episode of Gaming with Chris. <laughs> I'm just getting creative with, with the names here. GG. Um, so first of all, I'd like to apologize from last time. I um, ended up... There's some settings, and apparently you can switch the resolution to be what my monitor is at. So I was playing at this t um, 1080. But once you go to 1440, bam, everything looks much more crisp. So now we're playing at the right resolution. So apologies for that. Anyway, let's keep going. So it seems like it's a puzzle game. We collect little stars and you make constellations to advance in the puzzles. Um, so let's just keep going and see what we find. I, I can't get over how pretty this game is. So, it's, so we're back to where we started, we're back to the hand that dropped us, oh, now we're flying, interesting, hmm, did she paint the world red? Is that like a, an analogy for her feelings or something like that? I don't know. She's feeling pretty angry about something or... Red. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Okay, so it colored the world red. Those are some mighty long stairs. Whew. I wonder if I can jump over there, but I don't think there's anything that I can... Anything that's worth getting. See, the the, the uh, movement is very simple. It's just running and... Um, <clears throat> running and jumping. Oh, what are these cool things? Like little roses? Oh, that was a thing. I didn't even talk about it. Uh, what is that? Like a checkpoint? Oh, I can't go back to it? What? Okay, whatever. A checkpoint with a leading tower of Pisa and something in there. Okay, well, there's nothing here. Can't go up there. Uh, it looks like a clock. Alright, so now what's going on? Got my three little stars. Is that Orion's belt? Ooh, maybe. What is it showing me? Oh, show me that I have to complete all of those. Oh, maybe I'm collecting them and then bringing them back so they can go up to the sky. For some unknown reason. I don't know why. We don't know. That's one thing about indie games. A lot of times you don't know why you're doing things. Um, there is some lore. This must be something else. Uh, let's first explore the top of the, I guess... Structure, pyramid, whatever we want to call this. Oh, that might have been it. Unless I can somehow make it across. Yep, I don't think so. Yeah, like I was saying, in any games, there's. Um, not a lot of story during the game. Um, some of them are, some of them rely on like visual effects for uh, telling a story. Others rely on some background lore. It's another one of those checkpoint things. Okay. And many of them don't tell you where to go, so you kind of just f explore the world, and that's part of the game design. Oh, nice. Okay. I speak about this as if I knew stuff, but I don't really know much about games. I just play them and enjoy them. It's very cool. It's just riding down this big, steep cliff. And the sun is rising. 
Oh, we're in darkness now. My goodness. This is such a beautiful game. Can't get over it. It's just... Bam. Alright. So the sun's behind us. Or some kind of... Circle with light. I'm gonna say it's the sun. Okay, I got autosave. That means something is happening. Presumably. Maybe not. But I don't like how this area looks. It's a little bit too... Uh... Oh man, that is such a cool effect. Oh, it's automatically moving. I was like... Alright, so are we, if we start howling at the moon and turning into a wolf, I'm gonna... Forget. Oh, so that was the intro. Nice. Okay. Cool. Well, that was an awesome intro to the game. And I don't know if the character is called Chris, but I'm gonna say, oh my goodness, I think I made a mistake. I'm gonna say yes. Oh, she has no fall damage, nice. I think her little dress keeps her from falling, from getting hurt. See, so always go back, because there's always like something that somebody hides. And in this case, it did pay off. A lot of times I'm just wasting time. But in this case, we collected something. I forgot. I don't even know what I got. Because I didn't get a little star because it's not around me. <laughs> but just... Uh, yeah, I admired the, the view. I, I like what they did with the, the depth. Um, they have some, some stuff in the front of the screen. Some stuff in the back. In the, I guess they call it the Z axis. At least that's what they do in... Um, HTML and CSS, Z index. Some stuff in the foreground, some in the background. So it gives you like the sense of of depth, deepness. Okay, so something is gonna go. Oh my goodness, sandstorm! No! Oh, can't go forward. This wind is too strong. That was, that was a little scary. Alright, so we're like in a desert area. There's the occasional sandstorm. And we have shelters. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't get there in time. I didn't get there to the... Uh... Okay, I see. So if the little um, windmill things are moving slowly, that means there's a sandstorm coming. There's a little bug right here. There's a lot of little bugs. So I would have to get to a structure. Okay. Oh, it's moving again. I'm screwed. Can I hide right here? Nope. I'm not gonna lie, this was happening to me. Oh, there's like a little flash at the end too. Is that like lightning? Lightning or something? Okay. So let's try, to, let's try to get to our next checkpoint before the next uh, sandstorm hits. Oh, wow, am I gonna make it? 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 Make it, make it? Yeah, we made it. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that thing gives you a sense of urgency. It makes you... Um, so it's making me uh, stop looking around and just move to the next uh, checkpoint so that I can be safe, like now. And I think here it gives you an indication also, like a visual indication that inside the structure the windmill is not moving. I can actually show you that you're safe. That's what I'm guessing the designers did. Oh no, I fell. I need another... Star? Yeah, but they can't hear. So maybe if you're playing the game and you don't really play a lot of games, maybe that'll be like... Oh man. It is 
it's a little freaky every single time it happens. And a little li I like the little lightning at the end, like, wow. I think that happens in real life? I don't know, like, people in Arizona have had boobs, but when I lived there, those didn't happen. Oh, it happened again, it's much faster this time. Okay, so nice little design. Things that we're noticing as we go across. Okay, let's keep moving. I think we're out of the sandstorm. Or the... No, no, we're not out because there's more... Um, windmills. Is that what they're called? Windmills? Propellers? Oh, dang. Oh, man. That is... That is freaky. I'm just gonna keep going up. Uh, okay, so n casually, there is a. I jumped into a rock and it's uh, a bug. Okay. All right. Thank you for your services. I'm gonna stay here. Thank you very much. Cool. That was that was cool. Well, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Hope it didn't waste time jumping backwards there. How do you? Do you get that one? Do I jump on top and then... Oh, I better need to jump from the top part. Dang it, I missed it. Well, now I can't grab it. Come on, jump, 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 jump. Now I'm stuck in the sandstorm. I better need to drop from the top um, of this cliff and then I could break the uh, top. So I'll have to keep an eye for on those. I didn't know that was a, a thing, but all these windmills are now fallen. Something must have happened. Something, a much, much stronger sandstorm must have come by. No, I didn't make it. So there's no detriment of me uh, being out in, in the world when uh, the sandstorm hits, but it makes you feel bad. Like you don't want the poor character to be on the in the sand eating eating sand. Oh wow! Oh, so, oh I got power ups. Okay, no, so I didn't have to do anything. Now I can go back and and do it. I mean, I guess if you don't really care about collecting stuff, then you probably wouldn't go back and do this. I mean, we're, we're, it's such a pretty game. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Well, now that we got our... Damn, that is such a cool... Look at the animation. My God, this game is beautiful. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop here. I want to let the sandstorm pass. And with that flash, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.